Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I am doing your weekly love reading for August 23rd through the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we will get started here right away. Three angels what messages do you have for our Sagittarius friends from the 31st or the 23rd to 31st in love. First card out is the Queen of Swords. So, um, so <clears throat> cutting out what no longer serves you, um, taking a logical approach, not talking to whoever it is that broke your heart. Um, you kind of gave up on this person. You've been waiting a long time for this person, and. There didn't seem to be any mo movement, so you moved on. You cut off communication with them, and now they're wondering why. And here's your answer, the world card. You, um, you did this so you could complete this cycle with this person. You were tired of the merry-go-round that they had you on. You were ready to get off it. You were ready to close out that part of your life so you could move forward and move on is something more positive because every ending is a new beginning and the next card out for you is the star so there's your new beginning when the stars align um, I see in the time of Virgo your wishes are going to come true you're going to have big dreams big dreams in September come true for you guys most definitely after you let this cycle complete this week. The next card out is the wheel. So good fortune is coming your way. You're very lucky this week. Um, yeah, everything's going in your favor. Whatever you want, wish for, ask for, it's coming to you. Big dreams are coming true is what I keep hearing for Sagittarius. And the King of Cups, are you wishing for love? because they're coming for you. Somebody who loves, adores you, um, thinks the world of you, will go through rough waters with you, um, and never let their emotion um, run dry for you. This person is coming in the last week of August. And why not? They're going to give you the Ace of Cups. A new beginning of filled with romance, admiration, love, Bountiful joy is what I keep hearing. Head and scent, divine. This is destined for you to happen. This is destined to happen for you. The next card out is a chariot. It could be Cancerian energy. We got water sign here. Um, Aquarius. Yeah, we got about everybody here. So you're moving forward. You're moving on. You're no longer waiting for this person that that um, that you're cutting off from. You feel they took too long, and you're going to move forward. Um, and just when you start to move forward, they're they're going to come back. You have the Queen of Wands, so there you are in all your glorious edges, um, looking hot, feeling confident. People are, are drawn to you. They're coming to you for advice. They're wanting you to date them, to be their friend, to... You have multiple options um, this week, Sagittarius, and you are going to move forward and um, choose one. Princess of Pentacles. So, um, yeah, you're going to find out some information um, about your finances. You could be waiting on some finances to um, come your direction after a new project has been started. Um, you are going to get word about that fi that financial uh, investment that you've been waiting on. The Seven of Wands, um, you're, you're keeping your heart close. You're defending it. You are trying to keep people out. You have worked so hard to get yourself back to the point where you feel okay again that you're not going to lie to anybody back in. So you are trying to guard your heart. You are trying to keep people out. You want to have fun, but you don't want to feel anything in fear of getting hurt again. So you're going to move forward alone by yourself. 
um, with the Chariot and the Eight of Cups here. Two cards about moving forward, and when you do that, um, my friends, you will then um, find true love. True love will come in for you, because this is part of your cycle that you are having to end. In order for your dreams to come true, your wishes to come true with that Star card and the Ace of Cups, it it is calling for you to end this cycle to move forward single and set out on this spiritual journey, this spiritual quest that you are being drawn to, to start walking on. Seven of Pentacles, you've been very patient, you have put in the hard work, you have planted all the seeds that you needed to make this grow. Now it's just time to take a step back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. The Prince of Cups. So someone's going to come forward. Um, this King of Cups energy, they're going to make you a love offer. It could seem shallow. It could seem almost like a slap in the face because you are expecting so much more. But um, be patient with the Seven of Pentacles. This is all they can offer you for right now. And it is going to ascend into something much, much more. Um, but right now, they're just learning how to get out of their heart space um, that they closed off for so long out of fear of being hurt. And now this is you as well. You are also trying to block your emotions from this earth sign or water sign. I don't know why I just said earth sign. Um, you closed your heart off because you were scared of being hurt. You were scared... Um, you were tired of waiting. Nobody compared to this person, but you weren't standing still any longer. So you just closed your heart space down and moved forward like nothing nothing had happened. There's the Ace of Wands. So you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands this coming week. Um, emotional desire turned into passion. Passion turned into a dream. Dream um, turned into wishes come true with the star. So a new beginning full of um, your deepest desires being granted, um, coming true. Yeah, so don't allow yourself to get trapped. Um, or in the past, this situation, this relationship had you feeling like you were trapped. Um, don't let yourself get back into that space again. And there's Ace of Pentacles. Um, a gift from the universe. A new beginning. A fresh start. Um, when you start retreating into the Eight of Cups card, you were promised the Eight of, or the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Amazing. So for your romance angel card, you got love yourself first. Virgo just got this as well. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. In order for you to give out love to anybody, you have to love yourself first. You have to put you first. Yeah, I think it was Virgo that got that card. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. I feel that this is more that who you're waiting for. They may have possibly have children, and they have to get that figured out before they can move forward. But it is safe for you to love. They are back for real. They are back for all the right reasons. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, because you're not going to get hurt this time. Um, yeah, they're here for the long haul, I hear. It's just so important that you put yourself first, your wants, your needs. Um, make sure you're taking care of you first and foremost, because that makes you more attractive to everybody else, including your own self-esteem, your own self-worth. So. All right, Saggies, I think that's all the channel messages I'm getting here at the end for these cards. So I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you so much for joining me on my 
my channel, and as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.